Hi everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be making a pot holder, hot pan holder with using cotton yarn. This cotton is uh, an apply cotton, it's 100% cotton yarn and is mercerized so it slides through the needles better. Okay, the reason why I'm using Cotton yarn is because cotton yarn doesn't have any acrylic fibers in it and it won't melt with your hot pan on top of it. Acrylic yarn, it might melt, so uh, you can probably go, go away with a blend of cotton and another yarn. And you can probably use the cotton cakes that I'm going to put here. Okay, I haven't tried them yet with hot pan, so I'm going to be using only 100% cotton yarn, okay? So to start making this, I'm going to just put the yarn through the little hole on my RJ egg. Just leave a little bit of yarn if we need to seam something after. And then make a loop on the bottom. And make a loop to put your egg here later. Put it down the little hole. And then we're going to cast on the stitches, one in the front. As you can see, it works up really fast. And to, so to see how much we're actually gonna need, is just uh, roll it like this. And then it depends, really depends of how long, how big you want this uh, pot pan to be. You have a size that you want. I think I want around like this big, a few more, you know, a few more loops around it, sort of like this. So I'm going to keep making until I have the size that I want. So I decided to use this yarn here to put my pot holder together. So I found this and I really love this. And I think it can easily be made with, instead of rope, you can use the I-cord from your IG egg. And so I'm gonna try and do this here. So I got uh, ac actually the opposite colors of it. So let's see, and see let's see how it works. So, put the yarn through the tip of your eye cord and just make a knot.
that we have the chip all wrapped up, we can start working from here, from the middle to the top, to make this first row. And just going a little further every time we pass through. Always from the bottom to the top. And make sure it's not tied as well. These first few rows can be a little tighter, but then as you go, you can lose it, lose it a little bit, just so you, you know it shows the work of the bottom as well, of the eye cord too. And then just go around it like this, always before this one and after this, the next one. So this is how it's looking like at the moment. I figure that if you put through a little stitch here on this side, just put through like I mean a bottom stitch there so it holds the place where the yarn is going through it's better. So on the next row it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna move. Okay, so guys, let me know if you like this tutorial, if you want to see more DIY in my channel. I, I really like to make more DIY because I have a lot of like uh, home decor ideas that I think they are like modern. And so, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this tutorial. And, um, I, and I see you next week, guys. Thank you for watching again. 
and thank you for all these new subscribers and if you're new to this channel please subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot okay to make more content like this